and I would have been ripping him a new one because you never ever taunt. Like it, it, I don't know. This this is a pretty competitive game. I would take this game really competitively, and I wouldn't waste time taunting. You know, as opposed to <laughs> really making sure I get that kill. <laughs> uh, showboating is always worth it. Uh, one one kind of. Uh critique I do have on that fight is Valkyrie blew her null fire very early on the fight. I really recommend that she saves that until she sees uh, Curse's shield go up. Because yeah. had she saved it, she could have easily uh, debuffed that shield and might have been able to kill the Kraken in, uh, with the help of the Dimpir. Yeah. Um, I want to point out uh, Valkyrie's no longer in the lead for experience per minute. Silhouette's now in the lead with 555, which is tie for LOL little bit of, you know, random knowledge we don't need. Uh, and in in regards to gold per minute, Valkyrie finally breaking 300, but we've got Bubbles who's on 343, and Silhouette really close to, full, uh, to 500 gold per minute, even though she did die, you know, not too long ago. We see the Bulwark picked up on Kraken. Um, Magmus doesn't have a portal key yet. Opted to get a Ring of Sorcery first, which pretty you know it's a good pickup it's not it's yeah. not terrible um it's even more surprising than rushing a portal key i would say just because he he suffers from mana and giving your teammates mana you know that's that's never a bad thing uh one thing that i completely ate my own words is bubbles did get a sheep stick instead of null stone oh, yeah. so oh wow excellent nice time tonight, but but at what go. cost here we go Kraken will not really catching anyone but Dampier. Dampier not taking enough damage. Kraken going down. Dampier also going down. Valkyrie going down. Everyone's He's dying. The minute Shaman goes down. Uh, that's that, a pretty That could be it right there, at least for the bottom. Oh, yeah, they're probably going to head off to mid as well and get that. They're definitely going to get at least at least the melee racks off of this. Um, oh, no. They're, they got... Two heroes down for 40 plus seconds. Um, yeah, and it might heroes. lose two it's lanes on it. And Valkyrie. This team can't really do anything without those two heroes. You know, Sundra's just not one of them. He has, he has a bulwark, and that's about it. He's going down again, and now Sundra's gonna go down. Not, not really worth it. You know, he, they, they should have just, you know, conceded that top with those, those racks without really eating. Unnecessary gold, you know. A lot of times you make that mistake where you just want to defend so bad that you don't realize, you know, you're about to die, and you end up giving them even more gold. Uh, um, so yeah, they definitely get a rack from that. It's, it was a pretty huge team fight for the help one. Really, really establishing their their advantage there. So we see Silhouette's almost done with her Geometer's Vein. Um, no, actually done with it. It was on the Courier the whole time. Nice. So she's got her Geo Vein. She's gonna be really out of hand now. Um, yeah. Is she an I'm Energizer? I'm shocked she didn't pick up a Portal Key though. Portal Key is so core on Silhouette, especially with the other Blinkers on her team. Well, I, um, guess, I guess she didn't really think she needed it. And, you know, we've been seeing so far that she's not really suffering from you know, not having that extra bit of mobility. You know, she's a hero that's already really mobile. Um, in, in certain situations, though, a portal key would, would be amazing. Uh, it would probably be really, like, just overkill in this in this game. Well, most like players hard. tend to actually rush a portal key um, immediately after Gnome Stone yeah. on Silhouette. Valkyrie in a lot of trouble here using that that uh, Energizer. What's... No, it was Energizer. Oh, that's what it was. Energizer. Man, uh-oh, we better nerf Energizer now. No fire blading herself <laughs> and then just Energizing away. No big deal. And we're going to see a push coming out on top from, from Hellborn. And this could be a this is, ending this push This is what right you really have to do. When you have an advantage like this, um, it's happened to me a lot where your team kind of doesn't really know what to do when they're winning and they kind of go off and farm. And... The when they should really just be pressing their advantage. And yep. that's exactly what Hellborn's doing here. They they see that the enemy is down now. and they're going for the kill. That's that's what you have to do. And a lot of a lot All of times people get carried away trying to farm kills and yeah. Bubbles Ult is not going to be up though, so 
I wonder if they're discussing amongst themselves you know, whether they should actually jump in or not. You know, Kraken Zolt is up. That's big. Silhouette is extremely farmed. That sh should be enough to accomplish what they need. Maybe they're just going to try and chip away at the tower until they get that ult. Yeah, that's that's what I think they're they're trying to do right now. Just waiting for that bubbles ult and just keeping the creeps up, chipping away at that tower little by little. Um, Meanwhile, Hullborn, bottom is getting pushed automatically and yeah, distracting delicious. Yeah. Hellborn's creeps are just doing a lot of work. What what the Legion really really needs to hope for is that the Hellborn kind of clumps up, gets himself in bad position, and just. Makes a really big mistake. 4.5 second half on Luna. Or but the shield's gonna remove it. Yeah, shield removes it. Kraken ult coming out, catching most of the Legion heroes. Valkyrie getting taken down by the silhouette. Glacier's going down. Man, everyone's That's just gonna it. die again. I'm this damn to see these come out right now. Right now. There it goes. That that is definitely uh, GG right there. All heroes down for 40 seconds plus. Uh, the big the big heroes on Legion down for uh, an entire minute. So that's that's gonna be huge. They're definitely just gonna. CC yeah, and there. there's the CCs. All right, guys. Um, we're going to be posting the question, the first question of our uh, our trivia, and we're going to follow it up very quickly with our second one because we're running behind. So. Um, Basically, the first question is, I'm going to go ahead and read it, and hopefully Showtime, are you there? Showtime, are you there? Showtime is there, gentlemen. All right, so go ahead and just, post just the first a second, question. Though. Just a second, though. Just a second. just want to make an announcement. Team oh. Heroes versus Zeros just won against Team The Weeboo Paradigm, and stats are updated on the brackets page. So, so uh, yeah. And uh, be sure, <laughs> our, our match also um, just finished, so... Um, you want to update that as well. Team uh, Sally uh, sells seashells by the she sore takes the victory. And uh, no, 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 no. What? Yeah, Team Sally sells seashells by the she sore. So, oh, that's right. okay, you're right. Okay, sorry, I'm just. I would uh, say macro. Read both questions and then I'll update both at the same time. Okay, so question one, guys, if you're listening. This is how you can win 200 gold coins if you're the first to answer correctly, or 100 gold coins if you're either the second or third person. So here we go. The first question is, how many RAP tickets were submitted and handled during the last two weeks? That's the first question. How many RAP tickets were submitted and handled the last two weeks? The closest three answers win, by the way, because no one's going to get it precisely. So uh, get, a, get a moment to... Click on the the prizes link. Uh, here's the. How come it's not updated yet? Because I told you to tell both questions before. But okay, yeah, the link is up. Now. All right, here here's the link to that question. Yeah, so you guys uh, are going to be looking it's at gonna, bear It's going to be there. Don't put it in the chat. Don't put it in the chat. Click on that, and then that's how you fill it up. All right, there you go. Guys, pay attention. You have to click on this link, type in your answer in there, uh, make sure you fill out the form correctly, and... I think it's going to be there in a sec. I think he's All right, the three closest answers. Get it? Yeah, the three closest answers. Uh, we'll close it in within a few minutes and find out the three closest answers. All there right, it and it's like... number, number two. What is currently the typical turnaround time for an RAP ticket? Once again, the closest three answers will win. So once you submit an RAP ticket, how fast does it take before you actually get an answer on that, on average? Right, so the link is going to be up really shortly. It shouldn't take a lot of time. I'm going to post the link uh, in our chat. All right. Here we go. Both links are. So, so, and I also posted the direct links to the forums um, in the chat as well. So um, be sure to... Fill out your Han name, because that's the name that's going to get the gold coins if you happen to win. So, uh, Excellent. So some people are responding with um, random numbers. If you put a number, be sure to qualify whether you're talking about days, hours, weeks, whatever. Don't just put the number 30 and, and not specify what that means. Um... So, okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, we got lots of answers, so um, we'll give it about another 30 seconds. 
And I'm going to find the first person to get pretty close here. Oh, it looks like... Wait. If, okay, guys, if you're a GM, don't be answering this. Yeah, we will know if you're a GM. <laughs> yeah. I can personally fly <laughs> to your house. Answer. All right, it looks like Adiska, A-D-I-S-K-A, has won question number one with um, 9150 for how many tickets in the last two weeks. The, uh, the actual correct answer is 9075 So that was clearly the closest answer. I'm going to have to scan through this um, to uh, identify um, second and third place. But uh, congratulations, Adiska. You're, you're, we're going to be giving you 200 gold coins for that correct answer. Um, it'll probably take a few days before we can get those coins to you, though, so sit tight. And then as far as the question number two, what is the typical turnaround time? Let's see what we got. Um, let me scroll down here. The first person to get something that's close. Let's say... What do, you, what do you think is showtime? Uh, are you looking at you're looking at the thread at the list too? Right? I am looking at the list as well, and I would say this guy here. I'm just making sure. Just there's nobody else. Um, I'm, I think the one this that I'm one? right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's the yeah. That's a good. Right. One. Yeah. And we'll go we'll go that. So I uh, congratulations, winners win for your answer of 22 hours. Um, the correct answer is around uh, around. Uh, just about there. Uh, just under one day is the correct answer. So um, when you submit an RAP ticket, uh, the vast majority of the time, you will get a response uh, the very next day. So that's RAP is working. And as you saw from the previous question, uh, we handle about 4,500 tickets every week. 4,500 every week. It's pretty, pretty amazing how much we actually get done. So... Uh, we're going to go through. We'll, we'll get the next matches started up, and um, in a little yep. bit, we'll announce the second and third place winners as well, uh, who will win 100 gold each. So, congratulations, people, and uh, sit tight. We'll get the next match going uh, as soon as we can. Uh, I don't know if we want to put a, like a two-minute break on this. I got to use the restroom, and we got to get these matches started. I've got the bear for president up on the stream, and some thunderstruck playing. So we're good. We're good for a little bit. I'm pretty sure. We can wait a couple minutes. Okay, uh, Showtime, uh, I'll I'll go yep. through the questions. Um, you, your priority needs to be getting a round two set up. Get those matches yep. going. I'm getting set up. All right, great. I'll be back in a minute. Excellent. So, guys, what did you think of these, uh, these plays? I personally, not really surprised with uh, Hellborn's performance. Um... I didn't really know about the the other three players, but I know that the gambler and a Socrates would do like really well. I knew the gambler was more than likely going to be their carry. I took a look at his stats and games played. And he's a like he's a really good player, uh, and I obviously play a lot with a Socrates, and I knew she would be probably on support, some kind of roam roaming support. You know, and she she always does really well with those heroes. So yeah, good job by the rest of the team as well. You know, not not taking away any credit at all. Um, all right, they're definitely a strong team. I would say if they keep up this performance, they're a strong contender to win this game. I know that the gambler personally stated that the only team. I don't know if I should be saying this, but. The only team he was worried about was uh, Fructose team, right, Nathan? McDonald's, Derber, Curta, Pandas with Chinks. Uh, it's yeah. not because of Fructose, it's more oh, because Bordor is playing uh, on that team. Yeah, who, who And Bordor is an extremely Bordor, good okay. player. Yeah, so he's another really good player. And they, up until yesterday, Drift was actually going to play there. And he's actually a very, you know, he's a decently well-rounded player. Not amazing by far, but he's... You, you know, I'd, I'd want him on my team any day. Just don't tell him I said that, because I always give him a lot of crap. <laughs> but, That's because you have high standards for him. Yeah. Um, so, you know, uh, they were going to be a really strong team to win it as well. Uh, I don't know who replaced uh, Drift. Uh, I was told, you know, by a few different players that his replacement, not really up to par with Drift, but we'll see how it turns out. 
Um, they might still definitely be a strong team to win it. We'll have to see how they perform. Uh, the next...